Well, sir, it's late afternoon as we enter the small house halfway up the next block now. And here in the living room, we find Mr. and Mrs. Victor Gook and their son, Mr. Rush Gook. Vic, who arrived home from the office only a few minutes ago, is seated on the Davenport, staring thoughtfully at his shoes. And say to say... You've been honored, huh? Signally. I've been named a member of the All-Star Marching Team of the Sacred Stars of the Milky Way. Who done the honoring? The fellas up at Chicago headquarters. Cost you anything? Naturally not. <laughs> well, I didn't know. Generally, you're asked to slop out your pocketbook when them Chicago fellas come along with some stunt. The present instance is not some stunt. Who else is on the All-Star Marching Team, guy? Nine other guys. Anybody I know? Well, Y.Y. Flirch and J.J.J.J. J. 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 Stunbold of Leicester, Nebraska. Harry Fye and I. Edson Box, also of Leicester. H.K. Fleber of Gravelman, South Carolina. Robert and Slavert Hink of Hoopston, Illinois. O.X. Bellyman of Detroit, Michigan. How many is that? I didn't count. Well, there's ten of us all together. Oh. Ten of us all together. Something about this business bothering you? Uh... You act like you're disturbed. Disturbed? Yeah. I am disturbed. What's the matter? Well, the members of the All-Star Marching Team are scattered all over the United States. And yet Chicago headquarters wants us to practice marching as a unit so we'll make a flashy appearance. Oh, room. so that's the catch. You've got to spend a gunny sack full of money on railroad tickets to South Carolina and Nebraska and Michigan. No, that's not it at all, Sade. No expenditure of money is involved in this situation. Suppose I read you the letter I received at the office this afternoon. Then you'll understand the whole affair. All right. Go fetch it, will you, popcorn stand? All right. Yeah, in the inside pocket of my suit coat. Uh -huh. Yellow envelope. Okay. I'm pleased and flattered about this, kiddo. Out of the whole enormous membership of the sacred stars of the Milky Way, I was one of the ten men chosen to march on the championship team. Very nice. I think so. In the next issue of the Lodge magazine, there'll probably be a generous write-up. We can send the clip into Bess and Walter. True. <laughs> Darn it. The complications trouble me. What uh, complications is that? Well, us guys on the all-star team are supposed to practice marching as a unit, and we're supposed to do it separately. How do you mean? Well, this letter will make it clear. Read it out loud, will you, Pitchfork? No. Oh. Now, they're done from Kleeberger's this afternoon, by the way. Huh? Thought you were going to pay him that $2. I will tomorrow. Read, Tongue Clamp. Raider salute. In oak, sinus trouble, polo hunk. Dim, wet, nine, disputanum, ed, spittle, dumb cluck, pop, Well, story. you can skip the Latin. Okay. Begin down where it says, Congratulations, Sky Brother Gook. You have been uh, named... Congratulations, Sky Brother Gook. You have been named a member of the All-Star Marching Team. We of the official staff here at the headquarters of the fraternity are happy and gratified. Well, skip down a little more. All they do in that particular paragraph is to toss bouquets at me. Begin where it says, Your teammates on this all-star marching unit are as follows. Uh, your teammates on this all-star marching unit are as follows. Y.Y. Flirch, J.J. He J. always J. gets in everything, that Y.Y. Flirch. I bet one of these days they'll uh, elect somebody sultan of the Pacific Ocean and it'll turn out to be Y.Y. Flirch. Read on, Rush. Y.Y. Flirch, J.J. J.J. Stunbolt, Harry Pye, and I. Edson Box of Leicester, Nebraska. Homer U. McDancy of East Brain, Oregon. I left him out when I was naming over names a minute ago. H.K. Uh, Fleber of Gravelman, South Carolina. Robert N. Slobbert Hink of Hoopston, Illinois. And O.X. Bellyman of Detroit, Michigan. Robert and Slobbert are a couple more fellas that always shove themselves in stuff. Robert and Slobbert were elected to the marching team, say. Mm. Proceed with the letter. Um, the Sacred Stars of the Milky Way is proud of you ten men. We know you will work with unceasing effort to produce the finest... Another additional bouquets and compliments. Uh, skip down. Um... Cornucopia, ass, fumble, bop, agricola, spinach, bis, egg finch, gum Skip long. down, fire. Uh, because you ten men are scattered all over the country, making it impracticable... Now, that's it. Uh, Listen to this carefully, Sade. Hmm. Because you ten men are scattered all over the country, making it impracticable from a financial point of view for you to get together for practice sessions, 
We have devised the following plan. Get this now, kid. Do. Huh? You will practice your marching separately. Separately? In separate units, that means. Since I'm the only member of the team in this city, I'll have to practice marching all alone. The same is true of H.K. Fleber in South Carolina, O.X. Bellman in Michigan, and Homer U. McGancy in Oregon. Robert and Slobbert Hink, of course, both residing in Hoopston, have each other to march with. The lucky guys are the ones in Leicester, Nebraska. Four of them. Y.Y. Flourish, J.J.J.J. Stunbolt, Harry Fye, and I. Edson Box. Four guys don't make a very impressive parade, but it's one whole heck of a lot better than just one guy. You're going to march up the street all by yourself? Well, that's headquarters' plan. Go on with the letter, Lucille. Uh, in order that perfect rhythm be attained, each separate unit will train itself to march at the rate of one stride every three and four sixteenths seconds. You get the idea, don't you, George? I'm wondering how long a time four sixteenths of a second is. Four sixteenths of a second elapses rapidly. Well, I hope. The idea, of course, is for each separate unit of the team to school themselves to the same size stride. Then when we all get together, we'll be able to swing along like highly drilled marchers. Uh-huh. Read on. We suggest that you acquire a piece of chalk and mark off 100 yards of the street in front of your house. Then you can perfect yourself. Oh, in... hey, now. What's the matter? Well, you wouldn't go through any such dados as that, would you? Mark up Virginia Avenue like a football diamond, go strutting back and forth all by yourself. I well, doubt if anybody would be upset. People have get the idea you're dippy. Proceed with the letter, garbage bucket. Still trying to figure out this four sixteenths of a second business. That four sixteenths of a second business needn't trouble you. No, but march at the rate of one stride every three and four sixteenths seconds. How'd you time yourself? I'll buy a stopwatch. Well, even with a stopwatch, though. Do they have stopwatches that indicate when a sixteenth of a second's gone past? I don't know. I'll have to look into the matter. <laughs> Ma'am, how long do you suppose four sixteenths of a second is? Oh, <laughs> I bet that's down close to a whole second. <laughs> Maybe it is. Robert and Slobber and Hink have it nice. Two of them to march. They can make chalk marks on the concrete out in front of their house and... Button up their overcoats and link arms and go skipping along in grand shape. The guys in Leicester, Nebraska have it the best. Four of them. <laughs> Poor old H.K. Fleber, though, in South Carolina. He has to plug along all alone without a soul to talk to. <laughs> Same thing with O.X. Bellingman in Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> and Homer U. McDancy of East Brain, Oregon. <laughs> uh, and and who, Gov here. Uh-huh. <laughs> it is going to be a son of a gun of a problem. You, uh, ten fellas ever going to get together? Sometime, I expect. When you do, you can all hop into line and go swinging along, taking exactly three and four sixteen seconds for every step. Mm. <laughs> Oops, it's not far. You could take the train some Saturday and go practice marching with Robert and Slobber. Mm. Better go to Detroit, Michigan and keep O.X. Bellingman company. Yeah, uh, he's apt to look a little pathetic. One measly little fella marching along like a whole parade. It is just possible you people can enjoy your funny cross-talk without me. May I be excused? Where are you going? Outdoors. Got your chalk? Sometime, my boy, you'll say something very humorous, and immediately afterward, bitter weeping will be heard throughout the neighborhood. Uh Uh-huh. I'm going across the alley, C.D. Pitch indoor horseshoes in Ike Neesuffer's basement? Yes. All right. Here's your letter, Gov. Take it in the hallway and put it in my coat pocket where you found it. Okay. Oh, let me look at the letter once. Huh? Well, it's nice of them to put your father on their all-star marching team. Yeah. Seems to me they'd have been smarter, though, if they'd selected the members of their marching team all from the same city. Yeah. From what I've seen of those Chicago headquarters fellas, they weren't ever smart to begin with. Oh. Uh-huh. Freighter salute. In hoax, sinus, trouble, volo, hunk. Dim, wet, non disputandum et spittledum clock estuary bop. There's another brief interlude at the small house halfway up in the next block. 